starting a new build today. It's going to be for the school I used to teach at, the baseball team. I am headed to a builder supply store right now. Your destination is on the right. Ooh. That was pretty cool. You basically go in, let them know what you're there to pick up. You drive to the back and a forklift puts it on your truck. They put it up on my roof rack. And there we have it. Five sheets of three quarter MDF. Let's do this. So I essentially have my plans all made out here on Inkscape and I laid out my pieces of plywood and on the different cuts. Now what's cool about this is you can click whatever piece you're looking at and you have your dimensions listed right up here on the top. It's kind of like my woodworking plan. I like to do all my large plywood cuts. I just throw down a bunch of two inch thick foam and it doesn't matter what your blade goes through because it's just foam. found out these are a quarter inch too long just fine and I need to use my table saw to rip that quarter inch off I don't want to move that but I have an idea I'm gonna take some foam This is that pivotal moment where you build something on your workbench and it just keeps building and building until it gets so big it's time to get it off the workbench. You have to figure out how do I move this? Well, I have no idea how much this weighs. Don't you think? Please don't drop it on my toes. Don't drop it on my toes. Know when they're gonna drop it. <laughs> That went so much more smoothly than I thought it was gonna go. Now I gotta get it out of my way. Okay, I have it on some wheels on the front side. Oh baby.
Three minutes to do all that. Now we got it. That's how it's done. Professional. 1-800 Super Pro. This thing is massive. I just love having a track saw. But you don't really have to know the angle, you just have to, just have to be able to mark. Oh, and oh, I mean, I just love my track saw. I love it so much. I just realized this is eight foot tall. This door frame is not, so it's not gonna come back in, I guess. So I'm thinking we'll just leave it out here, build it out here, paint it out here, and get it delivered before the rain comes. camera <laughs> you should be wearing your steel toed boots son maybe to squish it out oh yeah there's the peanut butter Do you want to know is Gorilla Construction Adhesive Sandable? Yes. They are paintable and sandable once dry, but not stainable. You don't mess up. Is gonna make such a mess. No helmets will get stuck on that when you pull things out. It's, it's everywhere. This is Zoltan. And it's got static. So it just wants to stick to whatever it touches. Yay. That's definitely too much. There we go, that's what you want. Platinum patch for exterior filling. And brad nails. So, 
I've always wanted to try an airless paint sprayer. So I looked online and I looked at some different models based on some different reviews. I chose to go with the cheapest one that I could find. And we're gonna find out if it's worth the money or not. I'm going to be posting a separate video dedicated to the paint sprayer. If you're interested in whether or not it was worth it for me, be sure you are subscribed to my channel and you click that notification bell so you don't miss that video once it's uploaded. Several days later. Time? What are you doing? Because we were playing Red Fight. Remember? Remember it was called Red Fight? It was Red Fight. Bye bye, Dada. Get some kisses, kisses. Later on, this piece will be getting the final graphics that you saw earlier on in the design. But for now, this is going to be the end for this video. I want to thank my top supporter, Kyle Hickson, on Patreon. Thank you for your continued support. And thank you all for watching. You should leave a comment, say hi, general thoughts, what I did right, what I did wrong, or anything you would like to say. From what I've heard, even negative comments help to grow somebody's channel. So thanks in advance, and I will see you on the next build.